Now that we've chosen an article from Gale Literary Resources with our biographical information on our poet, we will need to do our citation in Noodle Tools. Now they do give you some information up here in the front of the article to help you cite it, but I'm going to recommend that you actually scroll down to the bottom and they give you a sample citation that's got most of the information that you're going to need. So just take a look at this. Let's deconstruct it for a second. Up at the very front of the citation, we have the article author and article title. We have the book that it was originally published in, the book editors, the publisher of that book, publication year, and here we have the series name, Dictionary of Literary Biography, and the series volume. Literature Resource Center is the name of the database that we use. And remember in MLA 8th edition, you can use the full URL in your citation. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. You can also use sometimes a document ID number. But for this example, we're going to use the full URL. So in Noodle Tools, when we create our new citation, we have to remember we access this from a database, but that originally the Dictionary of Literary Biography was published as a book. So in Noodle Tools, we're going to say database book. Now, what kind of book was it? It was a reference source. And if you click reference source here, it's going to help you by already opening up this information where you can put in the article author and article title. I'm going to make sure that we are in the database form so that I can enter in Literature Resource Center. And it will pop up. And I'm going to put paste in my URL. You only have to put the date of access if it's something that you think is going to change frequently. And I don't think so for this. So here I have Jeanette Riley is my article author and Mary Oliver is the article title. So I'm going to add that in here. Middle initial E and Mary Oliver. As for page numbers, it's not giving me anything in here, but it's always a good idea to check. Now we have to enter in the book information. So who were the editors of the original book? J. Scott Bryson and Roger Thompson. So let's go ahead and add those two editors. You can add another contributor down here and make sure that they are both set as editors. Okay, so I'm going to add Roger Thompson and J. Scott Bryson. Okay, so now the name of the book that we used, 20th Century American Nature Poets. And notice that the book was published by Gale in 2008. So this uh, red star indicates uh, the required field. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. Gail is my publisher. And remember in MLA 8th, you no longer have to list the publication city. And so the last piece of information we need is we need to tell it the series, Dictionary of Literary Biography. And it came in number 342. Now, a lot of times you wanna put a volume number up here, but it, for this particular series, you can put it down here. And we are done. This is what the citation looks like when it's all finished. Thank you very much. Happy citing.